former West Wing aide delivered bombshell testimony. She has nailed the greatest conspiracy, criminal and seditious, against the Republic of the United States since the Civil War. The president say something to the effect of, you know, I, I don't effing care that they have weapons. They're not here to hurt me. Take the effing mags away. Let my people in. They can march to the Capitol. According to Hutchinson, Trump knew there were weapons in the crowd, but during his speech at the Ellipse, still ordered his supporters to march to the Capitol. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president. Take me up to the Capitol now. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Engel. And new details about efforts from those close to Trump to intimidate witnesses who have cooperated in the congressional investigation. Had one senior House Republican, someone who did not vote for impeachment, we should point out, tell me that they thought there was going to be indictments after this testimony, potentially for Chief of Staff Mark Meadows or for Trump himself. That's right. Even congressional Republicans are now acknowledging the latest blockbuster January 6th testimony means Donald Trump may be headed towards a criminal indictment. And all of this gets even more intriguing when you hear what legal experts and former federal prosecutors are saying. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for joining us. According to multiple reports, the U.S. Justice Department now has a grand jury receiving evidence against former President Trump. And while the Attorney General Merrick Garland and others at the Justice Department are not commenting, former DOJ leaders and prosecutors are speaking out. Former Trump Attorney General William Barr, quote, the department is clearly looking into all this, and this hearing definitely gave investigators a lot to chew on. Alan Rosenstein, a professor at the University of Minnesota Law School, quote, there's still a lot of uncertainty about the question of criminal intent when it comes to a president, but what just happened changed my bottom line. I've gone from Trump is less than likely to be charged to he is more than likely to be charged. Saul Weisenberg, former deputy independent counsel for Kenneth Starr and the Clinton investigations, quote, there isn't any question this, Hutchinson's testimony, establishes a prima facie case for Trump's criminal culpability on seditious conspiracy charges. Daniel Goldman, former federal prosecutor and lead counsel during Trump's first impeachment, quote, Until this point, we had not seen proof that he knew about the coming violence. The testimony made very clear he was not only entirely aware of the threat, but wanted armed people to march to the Capitol. He was even willing to lead them. And long before this hearing, this winter, a federal judge in Washington, D.C. ruled that Donald Trump could reasonably be held accountable for having aided and abetted those who assaulted police officers during the Capitol attack. Judge Amit Mehta said Trump had created an air of distrust and anger by repeatedly claiming the election had been stolen and that Mr. Trump should have known his supporters would take his speech not merely as words, but as a call to action. So what happens now? Well, federal prosecutors are receiving much of the January 6th Select Committee evidence, depositions, and testimony in real time. Furthermore, in recent days, the FBI followed through on a flurry of warrants and subpoenas for evidence from several Trump allies, including two lawyers who worked on efforts to stave off Mr. Trump's election defeat. There are some legal scholars who believe Donald Trump could defend himself against charges by arguing he did not intend to disrupt the work of Congress. But even these experts who once gave credibility to that potential Trump defense say the newest accounts are chipping away at any Trump defense. Indeed, the evidence seems clear that Donald Trump intended for his mob on January the 6th to take over the Capitol and use violence if necessary. Now the question is whether Attorney General Merrick Garland believes there is sufficient criminal liability to let Justice Department prosecutors pursue Donald Trump with federal criminal charges.